Hi everybody, Greg Wilkins back here with you once again with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Sunday, January 15th, 2023. I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but that today's devotional will also serve as an encouragement and motivation and an inspiration for you and put a smile on your face as well. If you enjoy the Daily Pause devotional, do me a favor and hit that like button down below wherever you're watching and feel free to follow more episodes of the Daily Pause devotional by checking out my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, and follow me on Twitter at GregWilkins78. And if you know someone who may also be blessed by the devotional you're watching right now, feel free to share it with them and encourage them to also like, follow, and subscribe to the Daily Pause devotional. I pray that today's devotional, as well as every devotional you watch from the Daily Pause, continues to give you the encouragement to continue to strive to be the best that you can be on any given day. And always remember that God loves you, God cares for you, and God will always be there for you. Well, let's get started with today's devotional entitled, Ty Boogie's Mantra. Now, those of you who may be wondering who Ty Boogie is, in a few episodes of The Daily Pause, I've mentioned Ty Boogie, and Ty Boogie is a co-host of a podcast that I produce that I'm also a part of called The Sight Beyond Sight Podcast. It drops once a week, and it's available on anchor.fm, on iTunes, on Spotify, or wherever you reach your get your your podcasts it's an info it's an inspirational and informational podcast we talk about all topics and it gives some laughter it gives some, some encouragement and some information about some things and it's a really good podcast you should check it out well on one of those podcast episodes ty boogie mentioned how she gets through things in life and what what she made her mantra and she told us this is how i got through the things in my life i did these things i let it hurt I let it heal and I let it go. Now, I may have mentioned a couple of times on this devotional, kind of in a passing way, but this time I'm I'm featuring that phrase that she has based her life on. Let it hurt, let it heal, let it go. And that's one, those those are some things that we don't want things to do. We don't want to hurt. We don't want to hurt physically. We don't want to hurt emotionally. We don't want to hurt financially. We don't want to hurt physically. We don't want to hurt. Why? Because it hurts. It hurts. Someone smacks you in the face, it stings and it hurts. And then it makes you angry, you want to lash back. And so it's not, it's it's nothing we want to be a part of intentionally. But there are some things in life that do happen to us that cause us to hurt, whether it be emotionally, whether it be financially, whether it be physically, whether it be socially, whether it be emotionally. There are things in life that cause us to hurt. And some of those things are beyond our control. Now, what we do as a response to those things are in our control, and sometimes that deepens the hurt. It's like holding on to a piece of glass. You cut your hand, and you're sitting there, and you got the piece of glass in your hand, and you're still holding it. Now, the best thing we do is to let it go, and then put something on it to heal. But sometimes, we are stubborn, and we don't want to tell anything about the hurt. We don't want to tell anybody that we are suffering something. We just want to be big and bad and bold and, and, and... and the biggest baddest Billy in the world and think we're just we're just big and tough and we can't cry we can't show no emotions we can't show weakness so we got to put it on a facade of how we truly feel so that others would think we're cool and we got it all together so we put on this mask and we hide the hurts we hide the pains we hide the sufferings we hide the anxieties we hide the difficulties we hide the stresses we hide the frustrations we hide the bitterness as best we can and say I'm good I'm fine I'm all right. No, I'm okay. No, 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 no. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm real good. I'm really good. I'm, I'm good. I'm blessed and highly favored. And those things may all be true, but it's always okay to admit when we're not okay. Because eventually all we're doing is hurting ourselves more. And then that same piece of glass, that same cut with every, every admission of I'm okay when we're not. I'm all right when we're not. I'm okay when we're not. No, I'm doing good when we're not. We're squeezing that piece of glass tighter and tighter and tighter and digging deeper and deeper and deeper into that wound, causing more pain, causing more suffering, causing more anxieties, causing more distress than we need to go to than if it were if we just simply let it go. And after we let it go, it's still going to hurt. So sometimes you got to put something on it to heal. 
Like if you have a cut on that same hand or that same or finger, you put some neosporin on it, you wrap it in the bandaid. But eventually you get tired of that bandaid and you take it off and you see it and you see it is getting better and you start picking at it, you start picking at the scab and then the scab comes off and you got to heal all over again. You keep picking at it and the scab keeps coming back. In. And that's what we do with ourselves sometimes. We keep picking on those hurts we have. We keep going back at it and keep digging at it, digging at it, digging at it. And we don't have to. Sometimes it's not easy to let things hurt because the more you let it hurt, the more things can run its process. There's a process we have to go through. The Bible tells us there's a time and a place for everything. There's a season for everything underneath the, underneath the heavens. There's a time to reap, there's a time to sow, there's a time to laugh, there's a time to cry, a time to to plant and a time to pick up which that is planted, a time to war and a time for peace. Or it's a time and place for everything. And there are some times in life we will hurt. We will go through some hurts. We will go through some pains. We will go through some uncomfortable, uncomfortable moments. And Ty Boogie just simply said, I've learned to let it hurt. It's not fair. It's not uncomfortable. It's not easy. But I learned to let it hurt. I learned to let that process take its place. Because in that process is the healing. And that scab forms over. Now, sometimes we look at that scab and we get bitter because it reminds us of that hurt. And then once again, we dig back into it. We start hurting all over again. But there's a peace that surpasses all understanding that keeps our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And while we might not understand why that hurt happened in the first place and why we keep digging back at that hurt, God will give us the peace to go through it. That surpasses everything that we're trying to understand to get through it. And that's the healing process. And God will step with us and be with us every step of the way of the healing process. But that third part is the most important part. To let it go. Let it go. All the digging back in the scab and all the reliving of, and because people want us to relive it. And sometimes they remind us, remember what so-and-so did to you the other week? Wasn't this a time of this time a year ago when somebody lied on you? Wasn't this a time last year where their boss fired you for no reason? Wasn't this a time three years ago where your husband cheated on you with your sister? Isn't it this time four years ago that you got punched in the face by something? And all those re that's just reliving, rehashing, reliving. Now we could choose to not go through it or we could choose to go with it. But we being humans, we gravitate towards that negativity sometimes. That's just the way we are sometimes. We, we have that inward cynical nature that's natural and that sinful nature that we were born in. But fortunately, Jesus came that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And when we allow him to come into our lives to heal those hurt things, whatever it may be, the physical things, the emotional things, the financial things, the social things, the spiritual things, whatever is hurting in our life, when we allow him to come in and let him fix it, he'll heal. He'll heal those things if we let him. He'll put that salve over. He'll give us that understanding. He'll give us that peace that while we may not understand it, he does. And he'll give us what we need to get through it. And when we let it go and let him have it, he'll get all right. It may not happen instantly, but he'll give us the peace to carry us through it while we go through it. And we'll get stronger and we'll get wiser and we'll get better. And when people try to come at us to poke that scab again, we will say no weapon formed against me shall prosper. And we'll tell that person, no, I'm that's not me. That was in the past. I'm not living in the past. Past stands for past action stop today. So I'm not living that stuff again today. I'm moving forward. I'm going, not going back. Even Israel Holton and Ricardo Sanchez said, I'm not going back. I'm moving ahead. I'm here to declare to you my past is over in you. I'm here. I'm in you. I'm here and I'm made new. I'm giving my life to Christ. I'm moving forward. I gave my issues to Christ. I'm moving forward. I give my situations to Christ. I'm moving forward. I gave my burdens to Christ. I'm moving forward. The, the Bible tells us to cast our cares upon him because he cares for us. God does not wish for us to suffer in what we're going through. That's why he tells us his yoke is easy and his burdens are light. We can put those things on. There's an old song by Andre Crouch that says, give it to me. I'll bear it. Give it to me. I'll share it. If there's a need in your life, I will take it. If you'll only give it to me. And that brings us to today's feature song. It's also an old song, but it's been updated. Although this update is about 30 years old itself. The name of the song is Let Jesus Fix It For You. And it's rearranged and recomposed by Lawrence Matthews. And it's off the album, Lawrence Matthews and Friends, released in 1993. And the chorus simply says, let Jesus fix it for you. For he knows just what to do. So whenever you pray, just let him 
have his way. Let Jesus fix it for you. And the drive goes like this. I've tried him for myself. So you're asking me, how do I know? Let him, why, why should I trust Jesus? Why should I trust anybody? Every time I give it to somebody, I try to trust somebody, I can find somebody get stabbed me in the back. They go tell somebody what happened to me. They go, they laugh at me. They ridicule me. They go through all those things and just make it, this work, make it worse, make it worse, make it worse, make it worse, make it worse. So why should I trust anybody else, much less Jesus? I'll tell you why, because I tried him for myself and I know without a shadow of a doubt, he'll fix it. So you don't need anybody else. Why? Because Psalms 46 and 1 reminds us that he is our refuge and strength, a very present time in the time of trouble. He'll be there to answer your prayer. Just try him. The Bible tells us, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Don't take my word for it. Try him for yourself and live by Thai Boogie's mantra. Let it hurt which is not easy, but go ahead, let it hurt. Let the process run through and watch Jesus be there with you to heal you. So let it heal. Let him go, go to the process with Jesus. Let him go through it with you. Let him carry you through those uncomfortable times. Let him be there to comfort you in those times where all you can do is cry all night long, where you just don't understand why people are walking away from you. Why the people who said loved you the most won't answer your phone call, won't answer your text, won't answer your messenger. They just, just won't be there. He'll be there for you. And then let it go. Let all that stuff go. The true healing begins and ends when you learn to forgive. Forgiving is not about the other person. Forgiving is about you. Forgiveness is about you letting it go off your heart, letting it go off your back. And when you learn to forgive, you learn to let that stuff hurt, whatever that stuff may be, and you let the Lord heal, put that ointment on you to heal it and let it heal. Stop picking at it. Stop going back at it. Stop letting other people tear off that bandaid and pick at it for you. Just let him carry you through the process. The Mississippi Mass Choir wrote a song that said, he will fix what is broke. Whatever is broken in your life, he will fix it for you. And Lawrence Matthew said the same thing with this song, let Jesus fix it for you, for he knows just what to do. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for your healing, for your healing that surpasses all understanding. We thank you and we trust you in all things, through all things and for all things. While we may not understand what we're going through, why we're going through it, we trust you that we know that you do and you know what's better for us, Lord. So continue to carry us, continue to mold us and shape us in whatever we go through, Lord. We will trust you in our hurting process. We will trust you in our pains. We will trust you in our struggles. We will trust you in our triumphs. We will trust you in our successes, knowing that you are the author and the finisher of our faith and knowing that we can cast our cares upon you because you care for us. We know that you are very present helping in a time of trouble. We know that you are a shepherd for us so we don't have to want for anything. We know that your grace is sufficient for us. So in the midst of our infirmities, in the midst of our pains, in the midst of our sufferings, in the midst of our calamities, in the midst of our pains, in the midst of our issues, we can trust you and we can glorify you in them and we can rejoice in them, knowing that in those things we may be weak, but in you, we are strong. We are stronger in you. We are stronger in you. We are stronger in you. We are better in you. We are wiser in you. And we thank you for never leaving us nor forsaking us. And we glorify you in today. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now, this is the tart, the, the tart, the part of our devotional in which we give our birthday and anniversary shoutouts. And on today, we want to wish a very special happy birthday to Amanda Colbreth. We want to wish a very special happy birthday to Shep MacArthur. A very, very special birthday to a dear, dear, dear friend of mine who has encouraged me in more ways than she's even aware of. Very, very special happy birthday to Elizabeth Martin and a very, very, very special happy birthday to the husband of one of the co-executive producers of this podcast. Um, I mention her a lot because she's a dear, dear friend, Karen Green. Happy birthday to her husband, Mark Green. Mark, Elizabeth, Amanda, and Shep, I hope you all have a very blessed birthday. Happy birthday to you all. May God bless you with many more and have a great time on your birthday today. Now to send in birthday or anniversary shout outs of any kind to the Daily Pause Devotional, as well as any encouraging words that you want to share either on a, through a tweet or a post on Facebook or whatever, or maybe you want to send in a video of your encouraging words, or maybe you want to submit a song or video performance that's encouraging to you that you'd like to share to be a part of the Daily Pause. Leave those things in the comment section down below, or reach out to me on Facebook Messenger by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com, by Twitter at gregwilkins78, or text me at 864-860-1522.
That's going to do it for today's edition of The Daily Pause. I pray that you all have a very blessed day today. I pray that today's encouragement of Ty Boogie's mantra of life, let it hurt, let it heal, let it go, give you some encouragement and a roadmap of how to trust the Lord in the most difficult times of your process. Sometimes the hurting is not easy, but he told us to cast our cares upon him where he cares for us. He'll be there to carry us. And when we look down in the sand and only see one set of footprints, we can rest assured that it's the Lord carrying us through and that we're not alone because he promised he would never leave us nor forsake us. Continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, every day there is always time to take a pause. Lord willing, I will see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song. Let Jesus fix it for you. Rearranged and recomposed by Lawrence Matthews off the album Lawrence Matthews and Friends, released in 1993 by Gospel Centric Incorporated. I pray this song's a blessing and an encouragement for you, as well as his devotional. And may God continue to cover you, increase you, and keep you in all that you do, say, and think on today. Thank you for watching this edition of the Daily Pause Devotional. Take care, God bless, and I love you all. Today's feature song starts right now, and I will talk to you again on tomorrow. Yeah.
just let him 